Hi, my name is Heather. I'm five foot three, and I'm going to teach you how to stretch large canvas. So what we have here is the Pro Bar 72 inch and 58 inch stretcher bars, and I have two 58 inch Pro Bar cross braces. The tools you're gonna need, um, I have a rubber hammer right here, but you can always use a regular hammer. Scissors, nails, staples, staple gun, wood glue, and a right triangle. And then of course, your canvas. So we're gonna start off with our stretchers on the floor. Um, you'll see right here, this part has a lip, and this is what you're gonna want your canvas to be resting on. So I'm gonna put that face down over here, and this one right here. You wanna match up your corners and get your hammer. There we go. Now for these, make sure that when you're doing this, you always see the pro bar facing up so that you don't have one with a lip and one without. All right, now this is where your triangle comes in. You wanna make sure that you have all right angles at your corners. So what I do, you can do it on the inside of the frame, but that's not always a great judge. So I like to put it on the outside and just check all of your corners and make sure that they're straight. Now you're gonna need uh, your wood glue, a regular hammer, and some nails, some small nails. The cross braces are gonna make sure that your canvas doesn't bow and it also makes it a lot easier for carrying everything. I like to put a little bit of wood glue right underneath. Wood glue is really strong though. You have to worry about your wood breaking before you have to worry about the glue. So you only need a very little bit. For extra reinforcement, I'm putting the nail in between this little slot right here to make sure that that stays in. Normally you want to wait 24 hours and let your wood glue fully dry, but for our purposes, we're just going to keep going. Alright, so I've laid my canvas out. This is um, unprimed portrait grade linen. Um, I really like this one because it's a lot easier to stretch. You don't need canvas pliers with it. If you get a thicker uh, or a closer weave, then it's really going to beat up your hands or you'll need canvas pliers. So. What I'm going to do is lay my frame out over it and you want to make sure that lip is still down. And you want to have a few inches on every edge to make sure that you can stretch your canvas over it. So I have my staple gun. The first thing I'm going to do is put one staple in the center of each edge. All right, now that I have my corners stapled, 
what I'm going to do is stretch about or staple about halfway to here on this first side. I like to do it on, to do it on the longer sides first. I think it makes it easier. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite end. Now when you're pulling your canvas before you staple it, you want to pull the side you're working on first and then pull the other side to get all the wrinkles out. Space your staples a couple inches apart. You don't want them too close together, but you want to make sure that it's holding really well. I'm going to do the same thing on this other side, halfway through, and then halfway through on the other side. Alright, now this is where you start moving around your canvas even more. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I go to the shorter edges and I'm going to staple all the way to here and then bring this one all the way here as well and then do my corner. Now we're getting to the corner. The corner is really important because you always want to have really nice corners. You don't want it to be all sloppy and seen from the front or wrinkled or anything like that. The trick to getting a really good corner is to first make sure you pull it really tight on one side and then you're going to fold it but you want to do a practice fold before you start stapling. So you fold it over once and then you fold it over again. And you want to make sure that your corner is nice and lined up. So after you've gotten where your folds are, you can kind of crease where you're going to put those. And then you staple that first one down. And then go ahead to that second fold. Get it lined up right, just right and I like to staple it right by the edge. And then continue stapling back down the line. So you've completed that side. We're moving to the other side and we're going to do the same exact thing. And the reason why I'm coming in this corner is because the key to all of this is to make sure that you keep everything as even as possible. So what we're going to do is go back to the shorter end work our way in and then do this corner as well. And again we're going to do the same thing with this corner as well. That's what you want your corner to look like. You can see a little bit of that fold right there from where I, I folded in that first time but it should be this perfect straight line that matches up well with the corner of your stretcher bars. Alright, so now that we're done uh, stapling all these in, you want to go back in with a hammer and make sure that you hammer in all of your nails because you don't want any of them sticking out. Luckily, with a heavy duty staple gun you don't really usually have to worry about that too much. Last thing. You want to cut all the extra canvas and you can really just cut that right up to the to the staples because you don't want that showing on the wall when you hang your canvas. All right, now you have all this extra canvas. You may have some left over from when you cut it off of your roll. Um, I'm not a big fan of throwing stuff away so I suggest either stretching little canvases, or maybe you can even sew it together and reuse it, but that's up to you. Now we have our canvas. Um, I suggest getting a lint roller and going over it and getting all that, that extra stuff off of it. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is you can prime it right afterwards. The good thing about using unprimed and priming it yourself is that the primer will actually shrink your canvas and it'll make it even tighter than it is right now. So. That's Stretching Large Canvas. Thanks for joining me and check out some of my other free art lessons.